What is going on at Somniac here and today I'm going to be talking about a Reaper build which is a Great Axe first talent tree. So the Reaper build, uh, just summing it up, it plays a lot like Darius from League of Legends. But the Reaper build is what you're looking for for just like a basic warrior build setup. Um, and uh, I think that this build is solid uh, for PvP two-handers. You obviously do more damage on the big hits so it's a more bursty mechanism and it's, it's really it's the three biggest abilities that you want to see if you only could pick three abilities having reap like the pull mechanic the charge mechanic and then the execute mechanic this is really flavorful warrior uh characteristic abilities all of this build is designed around getting your foes low and uh you're just going to have to be throwing up the light attacks and your abilities, whittling them down to that 50% range. That said, once you're in that 50% range, you can start to chunk down at the execute down to 30%, and by the time they're 30%, they're toast. Um, he has this reap ability where he uh, swipes his axe and pulls enemies towards him and does 110% damage. Um, so this is just kind of a classic Darius mechanic. And then uh, one of his other abilities is Execute, which deals 200% weapon damage or up to 300% weapon damage if the foe's under 50% life. So it's actually really easy to hit that 50% mark um, to get the extra bonus damage. So pretty much like exactly what we're seeing with Darius. And then uh, also have a charge ability to charge 10 meters and also does damage when you reach a target or press your light attack. Um, so this is a super cool warrior build you can play with with a two-handed axe. The ultimate ability here is Bloodlust, so you move 30% faster and deal 15% more damage when looking at a target within 15 meters. Um, so this is pretty cool because you can charge to close the gap a little bit, but then also Bloodlust is going to help you close the gap and just give you that extra boost to damage. So. Uh, the Great Axe uh, play style, I would say that uh, for the Reaper build, it's kind of more of a PvP build. The Mauler build, which we'll cover in the next video, is a little bit more of a PvE build, but you can always kind of mix and match it up. So the gems that I think would be good, Exhilarate uh, 4, and uh, that does 24% additional damage when players below 30% health. And then uh, Opportunist, 20% damage against targets with less than 30% health. So Opportunist would be the PvE one, and Exhilarate would be PvP one, a little bit, 4% extra damage. Gambit, 15% damage when your stamina is not full. This could actually be a better option because, again, like we are having to get into that execute range. We're not going to have trouble finishing as uh, this uh, as this build once we get into that range so i think the gambit could be better for pvp just to get them down we're not going to have trouble finishing so in that in that case i think the opportunist would be better for pve to get the 20 percent boost of damage and then uh Another gem you can pick up for armor or jewelry would be Physical Ward, which is just a 2.5% physical damage reduction. Um, so some of my favorite perks, I really like Refreshing Move. Light attacks reduce your weapon cooldowns by 1%. I think that's always useful as a main hand ability. And then uh, Earring uh, perk, you can get this on your armor. Regenerating, so you regenerate 0.25% health, health every second. I like that one a little bit better just because it's a passive. You don't have to do anything. And uh, as the time of combat goes up, it's actually going to be pretty considerable recovery. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe it's like a, a one minute's worth and you get about 20% of your life or whatever. Um, another ability that could be really good, you can actually pick up Rogue on your main hand. Um, I like Refreshing Move a little bit better, but Rogue gives you 5% more damage to the back. And then uh, Slash Damage or Strike Damage. So we're going to be slashing with the Axe. Strike would be for Mauls. Um, and then uh, that would be on ring slash 3% slashing damage. Amulet perk could be uh, health, 3% more max health. This could be super good in PvP. And then another armor or jewelry would be refreshing evasion. I actually really like this perk. Reduce active cooldowns by 0.5% after exiting dodge. So you'll be dodging and reducing your cooldowns. These are some super cool perks. Another thing about doing a great axe build is a question comes up is, well, what axe am I going to use? Um, so including that these are the three best axes you can get in the game right as of right now. They're always going to be added more, uh, more content, more weapons through various patches. 
but as it is right now, Dark Sky is the best axe. It's actually a crafted axe. Um, but most players are probably not going to get this axe. I'm just showing it here for your record. But uh, what I feel like could be a good goal to work towards would be either Pestilence or, um, depending on whatever your faction is, the Great Axe, the Tier 5 Great Axe from your faction. I think the Great Axe build is a really bread and butter uh, two-handed warrior PvP build, and uh, I think that'll be super fun. Um, this is probably something I'm going to be trying out and seeing how it goes. Build A lot of people are going to be playing this. So yeah, check this one out and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, otherwise, in my next video, I'll be covering more builds. And uh, if you like this sort of thing, then hit that subscribe button to get updated when the next video is ready. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.